Hello friends! I just finished a video for my high school. One of my teachers from high school reached out to me asking to make an alumni video about I guess like how I got to where I am and how high school and college prepared me for where I am now which I don't really know where I am now. I'm unemployed. So that really got me thinking about my college experience. So I wanted to talk about it and I don't know if anyone wants to watch a video about my college experience but there might be one person that's interested in ACM or something so I'm gonna talk about it. So I went to Kalani High School and I graduated class of 2013 and when I was in high school I was super envious of those people that were like oh this is my dream college and I'm gonna be this when I grow up because I had no idea what I wanted to be when I grew up. Our senior year like everyone's thinking about you know what college they want to go to and a lot of people from Hawaii they want to move away um, during college because it's like we're stuck on this island and they just want to get away and I I guess I didn't feel that way I was just like uh, yeah I don't know we'll see what happens yeah I didn't even take my SECs so after I graduated high school in 2013 I went straight to KCC and I was just taking my core classes, it's like the main classes that you have to take. And then there came a time when like I started finishing up all my core classes and I'm like, oh wow, like I have to choose my major now and I don't know what to do. Like, and everyone's like, oh, just be a liberal arts major for now. I was like, oh, okay. After two years at KCC, they help you transfer if you want to, to UH. So that was my plan, but I also just didn't know what major I should go into. So I took a break. I think it was either one year or a semester. I honestly don't remember. I um, moved to Japan because my grandparents are there and I worked at a preschool. It was like for a few months, I just wanted to pause and really reflect on what it is that I want to do and if I even want to continue college or not. So while I was in Japan, I did a lot of reflecting. I, that was actually when I started meditating. I thought about it and then I had like a mini mental breakdown in Japan where I was just crying and I called my mom and I was like, I don't want to be an architecture student. I'm not good at math, I don't know. She's like, okay, well then what do you want to do? I was like, huh, what do I want to do? So I wrote down a list of all these things that I like. I, it's just like a brain dump. And something that was constant in my life was photo and video. My grandma bought me my first point and shoot camera, I think like in middle school, when we go to like dinner, I would always bring it and just take pictures of everything. And it was just something that I thought was really fun. And in high school, I took photography classes. I kind of pushed it aside when I was going into college because I didn't really think of it as like a career. I thought of it more like a hobby. But during that time in Japan, I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, I really like video. And if I'm gonna choose a career, why don't I choose something that I really enjoy doing and see where it goes? I decided to go to UH Manoa and they have a program called Academy for Creative Media. They have a animation, critical studies, and digital cinema. They basically have these three tracks that you can take and I decided to go with digital cinema. So there's a debate I think with film school or like art related um, college degrees. Like is it really necessary to go to school for film? And I think it's really debatable and I think it really depends on you as a person and what kind of learner you are. Because I know a lot of people that didn't go to school or didn't go to college for their film career and they're doing great and they just like, you know, worked under people and like went on all these shoots and went on all these sets and you know, they just learned by working and they've made it to where they are and they make it really far a lot of the times. But for me, I guess I have a lot of fear going out into work when I know nothing. So I think I needed that basic level of film education. And I think that's what ACM provided for me. Where I wanna say that though, that's not the only thing it provided for me. But I'm the type of person that learns very well in school, like under a professor, having these one-on-one -on -one conversations and hands-on experience just works for me and it's okay if it doesn't work for you but I think it's figuring out if how you like to learn you know and yeah so it's not for everybody but it did work for me. Hawaii is really small so like a lot of the professors that work at these colleges they are also like involved in the film community in Hawaii as long as if you make a good impression like you're you know making the right connections 
Also, all your other peers, like their people, if they're serious about film, then they'll probably be working in the industry here. Like a lot of people actually move to, but I think it's just a good place to network basically and like meet people that you're gonna work with in the future. So I don't regret going to college because I feel like I met a lot of people that I still work with or I can reach out to work with right now. Um, and I wouldn't have met them, I think, without going to ACM. It was a good environment for me to learn and to make mistakes and to make the right connections too. At the end of my college journey, I reached out to a photo video company called Seeking Films, and that's Jack's company. That's my boyfriend's company. At that time, we weren't together. I looked them up and I really liked their style. So then I just emailed them like, hey, like, I wrote something like, like if I can shadow you or, you know, like I don't even need to get paid, I just want to learn. Um, and yeah, I went in for an interview with Jack and Trevor and I got the job, yeah. Learned a lot and I was really happy to be in a job where I can hold a camera because I was in the restaurant industry before and I really liked working there, but I was, you know, just dying to just hold a camera at work. So it felt really good to be paid doing something that you really like to do, you know. And I think a lot of people look down on weddings because weddings are very templated. But I really liked Seeking Films because they had a different approach to it. Like it wasn't super basic and it was kind of artsy. So I was like, huh, I like them. And yeah, so here I am. Last year in March 2019, my professor from ACM recommended me to another professor at ACM who is in charge of the video team at NMG Network and they needed another videographer so they reached out to me to see if I was interested in joining the team and because I was working um, full-time at Seeking Films I decided to do part-time so I was there three times a week so I really liked their style so I was like yeah sure I'll try it. I worked there until May 2020. I just quit because I needed to like reflect on where I wanted to go with my filmmaking and like see what else I wanted to do. It was really, really good place to work, like learn so much. Another great thing about being in a film program is you have all the resources, like you have equipment there. Like it might, I don't know, at ACM they had the RE Alexa and stuff and you have to go through like this whole procedure to get it, but they have equipment that you can use, sound equipment and cameras and lighting. So you can use all of that without renting it out because it's really expensive to rent out these things. But at ACM, like if you go through the program, then you can use these things. So one regret that I have is not making use of that as much as I should have. Like experiment while you can with all these different equipment that you have, this lighting stuff, because you can't just like rent it after because it's expensive to rent it, you know? <laughs> so make use of the resources that you have if you end up going um, I know at that time you're just really stressed because you have so many classes and you're not getting a lot of sleep and you just want to get the film done or that assignment done. But yeah, make use of that resource and make use of your teacher's knowledge and oh yeah, like I want to go back so bad because it was so much fun. So stressful but also so much fun. So I would recommend it. But yeah, don't waste your time there. Um, yeah, make a lot of films. Yeah, one regret I have is when I first started ACM, there was like people that were about to graduate making films and they were looking for PAs and stuff. And I was like, ah, oh, like I don't want to be a PA because I don't know anything yet and I don't want to like irritate people. But it's like, no, like just go for that PA thing. Like just go, go on set so you can learn and like watch because that's something I didn't do and I should have done because you learn a lot just, you know, I don't know, I should ask my friends what they think. Like, I really enjoyed it because I feel like I learned storytelling too. So you're not just creating videos where you're like, oh, I'm gonna put all these pretty images together, zoom transitions and uh, I think you learn a lot and I think it has been very helpful for me. Yeah, I'm still learning um, to get better. All right, that was kind of a long rambling video, but it was fresh in my head after making the video for my teacher so i just wanted to talk about it yeah maybe i miss people <laughs> i miss you guys so much <laughs>